Yo, Zen dudes and dudettes. Today we're talking about jump rope size. And why jump rope size? Well, number one, we get this question all the time in the community. People are like, how do I know what jump rope size to pick? And second of all, if you don't have the right jump rope size, it's gonna make learning to jump rope a lot more frustrating, or you're just gonna learn how to jump rope improperly because you're gonna try to make up for the lack of length in your rope or the excess of length in your rope. So in this case, size does matter, guys. So in this video right here, we're gonna talk about how to pick the right size jump rope so you never have to worry about that again. Before we do get into this video though, I wanna let you guys know what jump rope we use personally and why we use a jump rope. So we use the cross rope jump rope. Um, we'll link it up in the description below for you. And the reason why we use this rope is just because it's the most durable and easy to use rope we found out there. It helps you go from a beginner jump roper to an advanced jump roper very quickly because the rope it spins itself essentially and so really you can get the cardio you can get the muscular workout in and you know you can just do your thing if you want more tutorials like the one that we're doing right here or workouts or just us talking about jump rope if you want more information of this sort make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel we're constantly putting out videos like this helping you get lean and have fun with a jump rope now let's talk about jump rope length. I'm gonna talk about two different types of scenarios where you pick a jump rope. Number one is if you're picking one online. You know, it's 2017, most people buy stuff online. We buy our jump ropes online before we started working on cross rope. That's just how we did it. Just because when you go to like your sporting goods stores, there's usually not very good options there. If you want the top of the line jump ropes, you usually have to buy it online. For example, a cross rope, which we linked in the description for you, you buy it online. So, if you're buying a rope online, you're not gonna be able to measure it in person, so you're gonna follow these jump rope length guidelines. If you're about four feet nine inches through five feet three inches and a half, you're gonna be getting what's usually labeled a small rope, it's gonna be eight feet long. And that's not including the handles, that's just the rope, eight feet. If you are five foot four inches to five foot nine inches, you're gonna be getting a rope that is eight feet six inches. If you are five foot nine and a half through six foot three, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a nine foot rope. And finally, if you are six foot three and a half through you know, six foot seven or so, then you can get a rope that is nine feet, nine inches. And as a general rule, if you're borderline between two different sizes, let's say for example, me, I'm about six foot three inches tall, and the next size up is six foot three inches and a half, which would be XL. Even though I'm in the range for a large rope, I'm gonna opt for an extra large rope because that little bit extra length on the rope, it makes it easier to do tricks and just learn the jump rope in general. Now, if you're six feet tall, you do not wanna go and get an extra large or a nine feet, nine inch rope, you're gonna wanna stick with the nine foot rope, okay? So it's just when you have like a half inch at the most one inch difference. It's when you have about a half inch or one inch between you and the next size. At that point we say try to opt for the larger size. If you are worried about not understanding what a foot or an inch is because you live in a country that uses the meter and centimeter and you know basically what the rest of the world besides the US uses, then right now I'm gonna throw up a sizing chart that's just gonna show you the translation of the sizes I just mentioned, the four different sizes translated from feet and inches to meters and centimeters. If you do have the pleasure of picking your jump rope in person, what you can do is simply grab a rope, put your foot on the middle of the rope, and then pull the handles up towards your armpit. And really you want the bottom of the rope or where the handles start to be around your armpit or maybe just a little shorter to near the nipple area. If it's in that general vicinity, that's gonna be a good size rope for you. So if the rope is not adjustable, you'll wanna pick a rope that is sized just like this, as you can see in this, this illustration right here. If you are getting a rope that you can size yourself, then just go ahead and pull it up right here to the to around your armpit and then size it from there. I hope this video was helpful for you guys today. It's a question we get asked all the time here in the community. How do I size my jump rope? How do I get the right size jump rope so I can become a jump rope ninja? So now you have that information of everything you need. Again, if you want the jump rope we use, it's linked down in the description below. It's the cross rope. Also, if you already have a jump rope and you want some workouts to do in addition, we have a free four week challenge. I'll link it up in the right hand corner of the screen right now. So you can click that, get the free four week challenge, start working out, start jumping ropes, start getting lean, start having fun. Happy skipping Zen Dude Nation.